Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to improve the performance of Tencent Gaming Buddy. If you haven't seen part 1 to this video, then click on the link that's in the description below and watch part 1 first. Right, to start off with, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, we now want to download the latest version of DirectX. To do this, all you need to do is click on download and we now need to untick these two checkboxes if they are ticked. And we now need to go no thanks and continue. And you now need to go save file. And once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run the setup file. And we now need to go I accept, next. And we don't want to install the Bing bar. You just want to untick that. And we now need to go next again. And it will begin to download the latest version of DirectX. But if you do have the latest version, then don't worry because it will pop up and tell us, as you can see there, I do have the latest version, so it didn't download anything. We can now go finish, and once you have done that, you now need to click on the second link that's in the description below if you have a NVIDIA graphics card. If you have a AMD graphics card, then you need to click on the next link down, and you now need to download the latest graphics card drivers for your graphics card, as this will really help improve the frames per second when using Tencent Gaming Buddy. Once you have finished updating your graphics card drivers, we can now go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and we now need to right click. Once you have right clicked, we now need to go to our task manager. And in here, you now need to go through all the processes and just end any process that you do not use. For example here, I have MEMU service running at the moment. I don't actually need that running. I can just right click and go end task. And we just want to end anything that we are currently not using before opening up Tencent Gaming Buddy. Once you have gone through that list, we now need to go across to startup. And you now need to disable any applications you do not use. For example, at the top here, I don't actually use OneDrive, which means I could right click and go disable. And that will stop OneDrive from ever booting up now on my machine, which does obviously use a lot of memory and CPU to keep that running in the background. Once you have finished going through all that, you now need to open up your MS config. To do this, all we need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in msconfig. And you now need to open up system configuration. Once system configuration is open, we now need to go across to services. And you just want to simply go through any of these services and just disable any you don't use. For example here, Adobe Acrobat Update Service. I don't actually need that running as I can check for updates when I open up Adobe Acrobat. I don't actually need it running constantly in the background, which means I can just untick this box and it will stop that from running on my machine when I turn it on. You just want to go through any of these services and just untick things that you don't actually use. Once you have done this, we can now go OK and we just want to go exit without restarting. But just remember, once we have done all these adjustments, we are going to need to restart our computer. We now need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen again. And you now need to type in advanced and we need to click on view advanced system settings. We now need to click on settings under performance. And you now want to click on adjust for best performance and press apply. It will make Windows 10 not look as nice, but you can actually still go through some of these settings and enable some of them. But just remember, having them all off will definitely help see a improvement when running Tencent Gaming Buddy. Once we've done all this, we can now go OK and we can restart our computer and just see how well Tencent Gaming Buddy runs now. If it is still running rubbish, 
don't worry because you can click on the next link that's in the description below and it will take you to Razer Cortex which is a game booster program. I'm just going to open it up now to show you what it looks like. You do need to sign up to be able to use the program as you need to log in. But don't worry, this is completely free. Once you have signed in, which I have just done now, it will begin to search your entire computer for any games you have. But it will not detect Tencent Gaming Buddy. You now need to go to the left hand side and click on the plus symbol. And we now need to click on the folder button and you need to find Tencent Gaming Buddy. I've got a shortcut on my desktop, which means I can go to my desktop and just select Tencent Gaming Buddy and press open and add. Once you have added Tencent Gaming Buddy, we can just scroll down and there it is. We can now go across and adjust a few settings in Razer Cortex by simply clicking on Game Booster. We can then go Configure. And in here, we can configure any tweaks and then press Optimize, which will definitely help improve the speed of Tencent Gaming Buddy and our machine. We can then go across to Configure under Boost. And we can just go through a few of these settings and just adjust them and go across to services and non-Windows services. Basically, it will disable all this when we run Tencent Gaming Buddy. And as you can see here, it will clean the RAM. We can even select this option, which will provide maximum processing power for gameplay without interruptions, which will basically disable the Windows desktop. And we can do that here with Explorer and it will run it in its own sort of window, which is great because you definitely do see a massive improvement in Tencent Gaming Buddy when enabling this option for Explorer and the top option here. But you just won't be able to use Windows until you quit the game. I'm now going to launch Tencent Gaming Buddy just to show you what it looks like when launching it from Razer Cortex. You will notice down in the bottom right hand corner, it will pop up and tell us it's clearing all the memory, it's stopping a load of processes and blah blah blah. Right, I'm going to go ahead and press play. And there we go, as you can see, it's releasing RAM, it's stopping loads of processes and just sorting everything out so we get the best gameplay experience. And there we go, that is it for this video. I hope this tutorial has helped and I haven't talked too much. <laughs> anyway, if this video did help, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.